Keith Int, Bula, and Anyang Haseo. Hi, it's Tom and Trevor from Green Shorts. And today we're back on the camper build. And this is video 16. Wow, already? Yeah, I thought this series was going to be 12 videos. It's already to 16 and we've got a lot more work to do. But we're sticking with it, we're pushing forward. Hopefully we can get this done before Trevor graduates from high school. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing today? So today we are going to prep the roof and paint it and then add the Tink Tube Roof Rack Solar Panel. Alright, let's get started. Go oh, one take, baby! The Camper Build Series has been sponsored by Tink Tube, which is a pipe and connector ecosystem that will empower any DIY project. The connectors and accessories all work with this one inch powder coated pipe, but with these adapters, it'll also work with three quarter inch conduit. Another nice feature is that the conduit fits inside the one inch pipe, so you can use that for telescoping elements of your project. TinkTube offers a 10% discount for my viewers for your first purchase. And I'm also one of their affiliates, so a Tink2 purchase also helps support the channel. The link is in the description below, and you can use the coupon code GREENSHORTS10 at checkout. It looks so much smaller on the back of this RAV4. Our accompaniment today is music on Main Street. A little band camp going on. Yeah, you, you gotta see this to believe it. So this is Lilburn's version of School of Rock. Bunch of middle school, high school kids over here for a week of band camp. They're formed into three different bands. They learn songs and then they have a concert on Saturday night. So today's Friday, so things are shaping up. Let's give all of ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So JW was suggesting that before I patch the holes in the roof, that I make sure that I don't need them for putting the solar wires through the roof. And for that, I'm gonna use this waterproof cable entry. I've got a couple of grommets here with gaskets that make it waterproof. And I think it's gonna go inside the solar panel box. So the holes that are right here won't work for getting it through the roof. My other initial idea was to have this thing on here kind of straight like this. Putting it up here, I realize that I can bevel it, have it up toward the front, and then I'll have better access to it from that side where I stand in the doorway to open it. It also lets me push it a little bit further forward, which will help me with my tongue weight. Trains here. To patch these holes, I'm gonna sand them down to clean them up a little bit, then drill them out. And then pop in a little sealant, and then finish it off with a rivet. I modified this rivet to get close enough to this one and still get flush. While I'm at it, I'm gonna fill the little holes in the top of these rivets with the sealant as well. I'm not 100% sure these are waterproof and there's water sitting in these holes. It's only more likely to leak inside. So I'm gonna make it so the water can't do that. This is waterproof exterior sealant, of course. With everything sealed, I'm gonna give this a good sanding 
to give it some tooth for the paint to hold and then I'm going to wipe it all down, give it a good cleaning before I put the paint on. And I've got some white appliance epoxy. And now I'm gonna paint a white roof white again. I always forget about the respirator until I hear JW's voice in my head. <laughs> Thanks, JW. All right, the painting's done. Gotta get the inspector out. What do you think? It looks good. All right, this appliance epoxy needs 24 hours to dry, and I'm gonna give it even a little bit longer to cure as well. So we're gonna pull the camper back into the garage to install the solar panel. For one, it's hot outside, and I can barely see looking at that white roof. We also wanna keep the solar panel out of the sun so it's not generating voltage. This thing is still light enough that I can move it by hand. I know we're gonna get heavier, but I'm hoping I can still do that, or maybe Trevor and I can do that together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut a hole to allow this to come through. And I think it, I'm gonna position it right here so that the cables can go through there and then it'll have room to fold down. And I'll leave enough slack for that to happen. I've taken the ends off so they can get through these grommets and um, all right, so let me mark this up and cut it. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of air around the edges here. Eyes and ears, JW. We'll do a line to this corner that way, and then you can start here and work into the corner that way. And then once you have a flat section here, you can come this direction and cut straight to the corner that way. Okay. As long as you're moving the saw forward, you can turn it. Let's adjust the workpiece so you're not in an awkward position. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Okay. Got some air there. That'll work great. The undercoating surface on this got a little marked up, and I can just hit that again with another coat once it's installed. And this is a functional piece of the camper. It's going to be out of sight, so it's not the end of the world if it's a little blemished. I realized before we marked everything out that I hadn't added enough space for the grommets to come through the floor. Might as well go all the way to the edge of the next hole. The first step to mount the roof rack is to mark and drill the holes for the cable entry. I'm gonna attach this with some butyl tape. I'm gonna overlap these corners and really press them together.
Trevor's gonna go push from the underside. All right, that seems to be seated nicely. I'm gonna secure it with some rivets. To attach the, the roof rack, I'm going to use these carriage bolts, but since I'm going just through the ACM, I'm going to make myself some big uh, flat washers here with some scraps in order to double up that strength. I'm also going to use a fender washer on the bottom and I'll get some adhesive in here as well to make sure we don't have a leaky roof. twisting on you? Yeah. Yeah, I got it now. Is the carriage bolt getting seated? Oh yeah, it's seated. Okay. Squeeze out is okay. That means we're... That means we did enough. That's right. Mm. Three more of these. So the bolt is going to give me a little air gap between the bottom of the roof rack and the roof itself to let airflow go in, drainage happen, and I'm going to add a, another stainless washer to the top of that bolt. Now I'm going to drop on the floor. To give myself just a little more volume in the roof rack to store things, I'm going to add the drill out when I made the holes in it as a, a little spacer to raise it up another quarter inch. The latch needs to face me. There you go. Just kind of support that. Okay. See how those holes are going to go over the bolts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you see the cable? Yeah. Hold on. Move it back a little bit. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Okay. So these pins need a little adjustment here for it to close properly, but help hold it in place. And then this little latch tightens down like that. That's nice. Having the, the angle toward the front like this with the bevel of the trailer here will be a, a little bit better aerodynamically. Not a huge benefit. Of course, we want the air going through there to dry off the roof tarp or whatever you have in here that's mm -hmm. damp. Here is the solar panel roof rack installed. Obviously, we have to hook up the battery and inverter and stuff inside. And I'll do that when I have a 
place for it to go. It looks nice. I think it looks clean. Yeah, I'm happy with, it's a little asymmetrical because this is slightly rectangular, but slightly enough that no one's ever gonna notice that. Now, if the sun orientation helps with this tilted up, we have that ability as well. Lift it up to face the sun. If not, just leave it down. All right, well, thanks for sticking around on this video series. I think the next video we're gonna do is putting the floor in. We've got a cork floor. Uh, and we'll do as much interior work as we can without the sides on, just make it easier to film. Special thanks to our patrons and members for making these videos possible. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's a chip off the old block. We're done, let's go. <laughs>